Using the Cricut Chirps data, I'm going to create a short video showing you how to fit a regression model using Jump. So in this data set, we see that we have temperature, which is our predictor variable, and chirps per second, which is our response variable. So temperature is our x, and chirps per second is our y. Now to fit a regression model, or regression equation, we can do this one of two ways, and both of them starts by using the Analyze menu. So we're going to go to Analyze, and we're going to do this using Fit Model, because we're trying to fit or estimate a regression model. So we go to Fit Model, and we see that over here on the right-hand side, we have to pick our role variables. So our role for Y is our chirps per second. So chirps per second is our response, it's our Y variable. And now we want to construct our model effects. And so this really just means what is the effect or what variable do we think has an effect on Y. And we think that temperature in degrees Fahrenheit has an effect on chirps per second. So this is really what do we think are our predictor variables or what are our X variables. So X variables go in the effects box, our response variables go in the Y box. And here we have one response and one predictor. Then we hit run and we get more output than we really need. But under the regression plot, this shows us chirps per second versus temperature. So this is a scatter plot of our data. So we have our 15 observations and the fit regression model. So this prediction line is a plot of our y hat. So this is our estimated regression equation. Then we come down here to the summary of the fit, the analysis of variance, and the lack of fit. We're going to ignore that for now. And what really, really, what we are really interested in is this parameter estimates table. So here we see under term, estimate, standard error, t ratio, and probability greater than the absolute value of t. This table here has all the information that we need to do inference for simple linear regression. So under term we see intercept and temperature. So if you'll recall, our model, our prediction equation, is y hat equals a plus bx. So we have an intercept and a slope. So the intercept is a, and our estimate for the intercept is negative 0 0.309, and this is consistent with what we had in the class notes. The other term that we have in the model that we're trying to estimate is the slope on temperature. So here we have an intercept, and then the other term is temperature, so this estimate is the slope on temperature. So this is the other parameter that we're estimating, or this is the other estimate for the parameter. So this is B, 0.2119. So if we were to write this out, we would have Y hat equals negative 0.309 plus 0.2119 times temperature. The next column over is the standard error, and so this is the standard error, the standard deviation of our estimates. So again, this is A and this is B, so these are sample statistics. This is sam uh, the values based on our 15 observations. This is from our data. So these standard errors tell us how our sample statistics were to vary if we were to take repeated samples of size 15. So we had calculated in class from the MSE that was provided and the standard deviation provided a standard error for B of 0 0.038 approximately. And so that is consistent with the standard error that is provided here. So this standard error tells us that this slope estimate of 0 0.211 varies from sample to sample by about 0 0.03. So this is the standard deviation of this slope estimate. The T ratio is the T test statistic of our estimate. So for a T test, if we were to do and go through and do a hypothesis test, this is where we get when we get to the mechanics. So this is T obs for a test, a two-tailed test of this slope. So we would go through, we do 0.2119 minus 0 divided by the standard error, and we would get this test statistic. This is the same test statistic that we calculated in class. And this p-value is the same p-value that we calculated in class. 
because this is a two-tailed p-value. So again, everything is lining up. In jump, rather than pull out the parameter estimates and say, okay, well, my equation is y hat equals negative 0.3 plus 0.2119 times x, you could go up here to the red arrow menu for the response, go to estimates, excuse me, go to regression, go to estimates, and say show prediction expression. And the very last thing that comes out is the expression. So you'd have y hat equals negative 0.3 plus 0.2119 times temperature. So you have your y hat equals negative 0.3a plus 0.2119, which is b, times your x. So that's a real quick one th run through of how to run a regression test in jump. Remembering that, of course, you still have to do your hypotheses, stating your test, checking the assumptions that you can check ahead of time, and stating your conclusion by hand. Jump will only do the mechanics. In this case, jump gives you your estimate, your standard error, and your test statistic, and your p-value. You have to do the actual conclusion by yourself.